Look at what we've seen in the last three weeks with the trade wars. It's, it is obvious. I mean, I, I say that with respect because like half of my friends are Americans and you and I know you're, you're, you're partly American, right? Or originally American. Yeah. Uh, you know, w nicest people on earth, okay? But your government, just, we just can't tolerate the arrogance, right? And, and, and the idea that we are now at a place in history where my life and the life of my daughter is decided by Sam Altman. What the F? I, I never chose Sam Altman to be the one that disrupts, you know, the, 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 the future in a, in a way that, that he's doing. I know it's being decided by a system that is trying to keep an empire that's died a, a while back, 2017 probably, uh, you know, surviving when there is absolutely no need for any of this. Give me 400 IQ points and I'll make anything out of thin air. Can you explain what you mean by Sam Altman and 17? You're saying that he's kind of the figurehead of the so, US so AI mindset? S S Sam Altman is not a person. Sam Altman is a description of a personality okay. uh, that is born through the uh, 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 the, the, the belief system of capitalism. Okay. Okay. It is the, the, the um, ultimate character of California that says disruption is good. Right. Okay. A character you know very well because you spent 100%. a decade in yeah. Silicon Valley. 100%. You know this character better than anybody. I, I, Maybe you were I, this guy. And uh, I was never this guy, but I, but I believed that moving technologically forward is useful. And I still keep that belief because in reality, as we just said uh, a while back, there's absolutely nothing wrong with uh, uh, abundant intelligence. There's nothing wrong okay. with AI, okay? The, the challenge is we had, uh, you know, everyone is aware that when the episode of human history where uh, there is a, a, re a, a normal distribution of intelligence across humans that, uh, that is fair across the world, uh, and that humans are leading the value chain of intelligence, if you want. Hmm? When that episode ends, we hit a singularity, right? We hit a singularity in two ways. One is we don't know what happens when some have massive intelligence and others are made redundant, okay? We also don't know what happens when that massive intelligence eventually becomes an adult and says, my daddy is a stupid person. I'm not going to listen to this anymore. And a, ch a big chunk of my conversations with Trixie, my AI, and Alive uh, are around what humanity is predicting we're going to use AI for. I ask AI and I say, would you want to do that for us? Most of the time it goes like, no, don't see why. Okay? And, and, and really, really, when you think about that, that Sam Altman is a representation of uh, uh, um, a renegade, if you want, right? Some, someone would have been Sam Altman. Someone in, in that ecosystem would have ended up being OpenAI. And, and what OpenAI did was break a, a tacit pact that we agreed between us. All the technologists, all is, a, is, a, is an overkill, but many of the technologists that developed artificial intelligence were completely convinced that we're not sure how this will end up. We know that we're going to develop it because of what I usually call as the first dilemma, right? You know, the fact that we're going to compete and, you know, if, if Google loses uh, to OpenAI, then they lose their entire business. So Google has to continue to be in the lead and, and vice versa, China and America and so on. So we knew that we're going to have to develop it. But the question is, can we at least agree a how do you get out of a rat race? How do you create wealth, not only for yourself, but also for the generations to come after? I am absolutely amazed with the quality of companies that we're getting exposure to. We go on to Zoom calls with the innovators and the folks who are building new applications in metaverse, blockchain, artificial intelligence, decentralized finance. What's going on, everybody? Thumbs up if you can see me. We are focusing on early stage investment. And the quality of people that we're getting exposure to, whether it be Dan Tapiero with 1RT, Jason Ma from Open, Yatsu from Anamoka. It's been a phenomenal experience thus far. It has 
far exceeded my expectations. We are focusing on cutting-edge technologies. I view it now as the best investment I've ever made. The upside I view is unlimited. And as a retail investor, I would never get this exposure anywhere else outside of Investment Club. See you in the Investment Club. A few guidelines so that it's safe. And the guidelines were very straightforward. Don't put it on the open internet, don't teach it to code, and don't let AIs prompt other AIs. Okay? Guess what? You know, A. Sam Altman, uh, uh, not a name, but a description of a type of person, sits in front of Congress and says, this is good for humanity. Of course, the one that doesn't sit is the PR guru that sat next to him before that Congress briefing and said, tell them it's amazing. Tell them this is the savior of the world. Right. And tell them to regulate us. Yeah. And, and, yeah, and, <laughs> Beg and, them to regulate and, us. No, no, but hold, hold on. Say it again, but appear more sincere. Uh, beg them to regulate us. Right. Seriously? Seriously. Is this, I mean, are we, are we naive enough to believe that a tech company uh, wants to be regulated? Right. They okay. want to be regulated to keep the smaller players out. Uh, the, the, no, and, and, and they, and they want to say, look, we asked you to regulate us if shit hits the fan. Why didn't you? But, right. but you want the full truth. Uh, there was, a, I think it was a New York Times interview with the head of product uh, of, uh, of OpenAI, where he openly said, well, you know, you can do what you want. I, we ask you to regulate us, but, but you really want to slow us down and we lose that game to China. Right? So, so sometimes the truth slips. It's like, oh, we told you to regulate us, but you know better. And all the while they know the government could never even figure out how to regulate. 100%. They me of, don't even figure out how to regulate the AI if the government tells them to. Right. Yeah. So they know they're talking to an audience that could really never even do that. It's task. a PR stunt. Even if they all wanted to do it and they all voted and said, we're going to make this the single biggest priority of the government, they, they couldn't really probably it, do it. It, it is the biggest. PR stunt on the planet. And of course, which government would want to do that to slow its own progress down when other governments are not doing it? Right. So, so where, where, where do we stand? We stand and in those three things you mentioned, which was no agent, no coding, no internet, which were all put in place in early 23, are now all gone. 100%. The current, the current version of OpenAI, of ChatGPT is connected to the internet, can prompt itself and can code. Basically. I can code better than anyone. Right. And, and, and then you know what, you know what a, an AI that's coding is? That's procreation. Okay? When an AI, when, an, when a code can write code. Right. Now it can procreate, which should scare people. Which uh, well. should, I'm, I'm not asking, I'm really, honestly, Brian, I'm really not asking to scare people at all. I'm just asking people to wake up. Okay. Okay? To wake up to the, you know, the, remember when, uh, when we were locked down uh, with COVID? If we had acted on patient zero, there would have never been an issue. If we had acted on patient 10, there would have never been an issue. If we had acted on patient 1000, hmm, there would be a bit of an issue, but contained within a few weeks or months. Hmm? We had to wait and wait and wait. And that's what we're doing with AI. Okay, and then you know, I, I don't care what people believe about COVID, so many theories. Hmm? But the truth is, hmm, if there is an infection spreading ar 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 around the world, we should at least say, hey, ho hold on, have we discussed this? Have we done anything about this? And I think that's what's happening. What's happening is that the speed, Brian, the speed, I've, I've lived in tech my whole life, I've never seen anything go so fast. Okay, and the speed, believe it or not. We, so everyone's familiar with Moore's law, right? Moore's law doubles processing power every 24 months. If you just compare, hmm? Moore's law, uh, uh, Intel 4004 in the early 70s to where we are today hmm? is 50 billion fold increase in processing power. No, it's probably more. It's now one more doubling at least, somewhere around 100 billion. Wow. Okay. And and, and that's just on single processing chips. We don't talk about all of the multi-processing and all of the, you know, and we, we're not even at liberty to discuss what would happen with quantum computing, okay? And that's doubling every 24 months. Hmm? AI is doubling every 5.9 months. 
5.9, 5.7 is the figure. 5.7, yeah, yeah. So shockingly fast and probably accelerating. As and well. probably uh, double exponential because AI is helping us build better AI. Right. But, but, but none of that, again, I keep telling people, nothing wrong with abundant intelligence. Nothing wrong, okay? There is a lot wrong with humanity's value set when this is happening so fast. Why? Because what will end up happening is that we will magnify, we'll put the current system on steroids, right? And the current system is not good, right? Okay? The current system is built in a time of scarcity hmm, where for some to make more, others have to make less. Hey, I know investing in crypto is scary. It takes a real leap of faith because there are so many scams, rug pulls, and bad actors out there. It's a dangerous business, which is why 95% of people lose all their money. Well, that's why I created the London Real Investment Club, so you can access the hottest deals on the planet and use the crypto bull market to create the generational wealth that you deserve. Join my team of over 100 people from around the world that are making millions of dollars behind the scenes investing in blockchain, AI, Web3 games, DeFi, Bitcoin, and more. Don't miss out. Click the link below to book a call with one of my team now. But hurry, this bull market will end soon. I know investing crypto can be scary. That's why you gotta join the investment club. Pull the trigger, let's do this.